In today's small and medium business environments, IT administrators are faced with an array of options when it comes to setting up a rack mount server. What you see on my right are the typical components for that rack mount setup. We have six 1U servers, we have a KVM, we have a network switch, we have a SAN, and we have all the associated cabling that has to go into the cabinet on my right. We would have to do all that physical setup and wiring before we could begin the software configuration of our server. What you see on my left is the Intel modular server product based on Intel MultiFlex technology. With this product, you can see we have a network cable, a power cable, a laptop, and our server product all in one box. What I'm gonna do next is actually go through the setup of these two products so you can see the difference between today's approach and the modular server approach. Okay, so what we have here are the standard rack mount components that need to go into this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and start physically configuring this rack and setting up these components. So first we have to Okay, so now that we're done with the physical installation, we can start the server configuration. And this is a process that involves setting up the storage system and the server, set up the RAID to protect the data on the disks, set up the storage cluster to create our volumes, install an HBA into our server, set up authentication between the server and the volumes, connect the server to our iSCSI target on the storage host, and finally configure the HBA to boot off of iSCSI so that we can begin our OS installation. Once we've got it up and running and in our network data center, if there's a failure in the system, we have to physically come back into the data center and remove and replace components in this rack. So as you can see, this is all very time consuming in setup, installation and configuration, as well as very time consuming and costly if we have a failure. And that's why we're showing you the difference today between this and our new modular server with the Intel MultiFlex technology inside. All right, so now we're ready to start configuring our modular server. It's really simple. We just plug in the Ethernet cable to our laptop, plug in the two power cords for the server, turn the power on, and once it boots up, we'll be ready to start configuring our server. So now that our modular server is booted up, we can begin configuring the server. Um, we can do this from anywhere on the, on the network. All, all we need is a network connection and a laptop, and we can configure the server. So I'll go ahead and start up the modular server control application from this laptop. It's very web-based. I'll go ahead and log in. Once we're logged in here, we can um, begin the setup by configuring a storage pool. So we'll click on the storage tab. That will give me an interface where I can create a storage pool. So when I click on create a storage pool, I get the option of how many drives I want to add to it. I'll add these four drives. I'll give it a name. I'll select a RAID level, RAID 5, 
and click apply. That'll take just a few minutes and we'll have created a storage pool on this, on this chassis. Once that's done, it says it's done now, you can click OK. Now we have to go ahead and select it and create a virtual drive in the storage pool. So I will click create virtual drive and this dialog will have me name the virtual drive. Select my RAID level of 5 and we'll go ahead and map this virtual drive to server 1. And now all we do is click apply and when that's done we will have mapped our server to the virtual drive and we'll be ready to install the operating system on the drive. And there it is, it's done. So at this point we would begin installing our operating system. So once the system is up and running, if a server fails, we can simply log on remotely and remap the storage to a new server. Or if a server failed, we could go into our network room, pull out the failed server, hot swap a new server in, and be up and running in no time. So as you can see by comparison to the traditional system with all its complex cabling and individual components in the rack, the modular server system saves system administrators significant time and hassle just in setup and maintenance alone. The modular service system is a simple, flexible system that provides exceptional value to the IT administrator.